Hello again, Groove folks. Back again for the uh, the second video in our, our series. Uh, now this week I'm going to look at going over the, the form sequence. So I'm going to build it up. Um, probably the first few weeks stuff you've been you have done with you and you're familiar with, and then after that. Uh, introducing some new stuff, okay? So uh, I'm going to go through the opening and the first series of steps, okay? And we'll, I'll talk through it as I'm doing it. So, okay. So we, we, we start to form with our feet together, standing just with the hands where they naturally fall. Shoulders and chest relaxed. Head as if your balance has something on it. Okay, so when we're taking the step out, we're stepping to the left. And that's not a, a straightforward step like doing this. Okay, basically what you're doing is bending the knees, keeping the weight in the right leg. You're slowly stepping out with the left, and then once the foot's down, bringing the weight into the center. Okay, so if you can imagine like your hip is against something here. But it isn't moving away from, then it remains there until the foot is on the floor and then we come into the centre. So the knees slightly bent, as you can see there. So from here, so this is our shoulder width position, more or less, feet parallel. From here, we raise the hands and as we lower, we bend the knees that wee bit more, just sinking down into the legs. Okay, so that's it back to here. Now we're going to go into our first, what we call the bow stance. So we'll be doing this from a few different directions. So here, as we step in with the left, heel to heel, we hold the ball. Right hand up, left hand down. As you can see, the hips here are diagonal. And when the hips are diagonal like that, you open the hip out to the side, put the heel down. And as you come forward, the hands pass like this and the left palm's facing up, the right one down, and in this position only, you'll push the right heel back. So that completes your bow stance, gets you in the forward position. Bow stance about two thirds of the weight, in this case, on the left leg. Okay, so when I sit back and turn this hand, the hips turn diagonal. So as you can see, the front of the foot of the floor, the foot, and the hips turn diagonal. I'm going to do this step here. I'm holding the ball this time, left hand up, and then step out to the right. And as I come forward, this time, right palm up, left one down. And then one more of those steps. There's three in this sequence. This is part and way the horse's mane. So we turn like this. Step. Holding the ball and we step out and that's the final of the three. So again, you're back in your left leg bow stance, left palm up, right one down. So I'm just going to do that now for, from another, uh, another direction here, okay, and just the same sequence. So this time I'm going to, I'm going to come towards you so you can see what's happening. With, with the hip movement and I'm only got the coordination and the moves there too. So I'm back here in the in the opening position. Okay. So the feet are together, the hands will naturally fall, the head as if I'm balancing something on it. So we'll call this first move root in the right leg. That basically means as we bend the knees, keeping the weight in the right leg and then slowly stepping out to the left. Once the foot's down, bring the weight into the centre. From here, raise the hands. And as you lower, you just bend the knees up a wee bit more. Just sink it down a wee bit more into the legs. And then as we step in, holding the ball, right hand up, left hand down. It's heel to heel, but as well as stepping in, the hips turn diagonal. And with the hips diagonal like this, it means you're not thinking so much about stepping forward, more about opening the hip out to the side. And doing this will give you your length and width of stance. So when you come forward, 
the hands pass like this and then at the end when you're forward in the left leg the right heel pushes back so that rear foot's diagonal that's your bow stance complete so the first parting weight horse is main so sitting back the hand turns the hips turn as does the foot so by the time I'm on the back leg this is my position and then as a shift and step in and out I'm holding the ball okay so by the time the foot forward I'm still back the hands are like this and then they pass and then finally sit back again turning the hips and hand to the other side and as you shift the weight and step in and out then you come forward into your final parking weight horses main that's your that's your last position that's as far as we're going to go this week okay so I'm just going to go through uh, that, that sequence just without talking okay just to show you so again we'll do it from two angles And then just from the other angle, just to finish. Okay, so that's the opening of the form up to parting while the horse is main. Uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to, feel free to fire them through um, if there's anything in these clarified. And uh, I'll see you for the next video next week.